But we usually have our main man, Austin, with us on the bus. He's usually sitting behind me munching on his ramen. He's right? like Austin, your groupie or something? Yeah, he's, he, well, he just, I don't know, he, he rides the bus a lot. He's usually on here, like, every day. I just, I just wonder where that guy is. I miss him. Gentlemen, welcome back to episode five of Busted, Tennessee's very own talk show on the T-Bus. Per usual, I am your host, Braxton Zilkowski, and let me tell you, we are back for the last episode of our five episode lineup this season. Gonna go on a little bit of break. You know the shtick, we're finding our next guest at the next stop. Let's check it out. It's not enough to be in love, you can't About our next guest. Hello, pleasure hey to meet there. you. Hey there, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm Braxton and uh, uh, David. David, very yeah. nice to meet you. Um, what are you What are you doing riding the bus today? I'm uh, just trying to get out of the heat. It's awful hot out here. Oh, today. I tell you, I know it's tough. You're uh, you're a shirt and tie like me too. Yeah, right? I have my coat on too. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. it's brutal out there today. Yeah. But uh, all right, well, David, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do around campus? Well, I'm the provost and senior vice chancellor on campus, which means I run the academic side of the university. Wow. I'm the one that says you can get your degree. I'm the one okay. that says you can get admitted. So that's my job. All right. Well, this is, I guess, a very episode, very important episode for me, uh, degree-wise. I hope. Yeah, I'm you want to graduate, huh? Yeah. We'll <laughs> okay. See. Let's, let's see it. how this goes. <laughs> okay. Well, let's make it a good one. <laughs> All right. Well, very cool. I well, I hope you're in the mood to play a few games. That, uh... Absolutely. All right. I like it. First game we got on the dockets today is. I know that the Office of the Provost is in charge of cross-college education, which somehow in there includes some genetic requirements. That's right, education. that's right. Okay. So, with that in mind, I got this game here called, is that a gen ed or is it made up in my head? So, uh, they were the game's pretty simple. I'm okay. just gonna read off a gen ed and, and you just gotta tell me, yeah, that's a gen ed or okay. no, that's that's in your head. Okay. I'll give a little brief description too. Okay, so let's jump right in, starting off. ESS 110, Energy for the World. It's an environmental science class focused on education of all things energy. I say that's a gen ed. <laughs> Absolutely, that is a gen ed. And let me tell you, it'll save you hundreds on your eating bill. Okay. All right. Next one here, POLS 326, Intro to Yelling Like a Politician, an overview on how to say everything while saying absolutely nothing at all. Oh, I don't know, but I'm guessing that's in your head. Yeah, that's, that's definitely up in there, but you know, if I, I hear if it was a class, um, there would be a pretty good unit on speaking while finger pointing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, next one, moving right along. English 101. It's an English composition course seeking to establish a writer's background in both argument and analysis. I say that's a gen ed. Absolutely correct. Again, uh, it's for example, it helps me with those arguments I have with the steering wheel while driving. Absolutely. Uh, all right, math 116. Statistical reasoning of finding a soulmate. Heavy focus on group work and infatuation probabilities. Oh, it sounds like it might be, but I'm guessing that's in your head. De definitely in my head. It has a 0% pass rate and all participants are still searching. All right, last one here. Tricky one, tricky one. Chem 127, Everyday Basement Chemistry, taught by Professor White. Who says you wouldn't use your degree? That might be in your head. That is, that is 100% in my head. We're gonna leave that to Hollywood. All right, that was it. You nailed all five of those, no sweat. I'm good. We're, we're, we went five for five right there. That is, yeah, that yeah. is awesome right. work. So moving right along, I got another good game for us here. This one, I know that, well, let me give out my bit cards here, conveniently stashed in my desk. This, this is a game, well first I'll give you the name. Right. This is a game I like to call, Who's That Dean? 
Okay. So, all academic colleges on campus have to report to the Office of the Problem. That's right. So, I figured you should know the deans, and I want to see how well you actually know them. Okay. So I'm going to show you a photo okay. of a dean. Rules are pretty straightforward. You got to just tell me if it's a dean. You got to tell me who's that dean, and you got to tell me what college they okay. belong to. Okay. I'll great. give you I'll give you points for that. We'll see. All right. Okay. Simple great. enough. Let's great. hop right in. Start you off right here. Uh, that would be Dean Mike Worth, and uh, he's dean of the College of Communication. Absolutely correct. And there you have oh. it's dean of the Haslam College of Business. Steve Mangum. Yes, there it is. All right. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that's not a dean I've seen before, but he's a one-man army. I know that. Yes, absolutely <laughs> right. It's Dr. John J. Rambo, College of uh, Foreign Intervention. He'll disavow any and all knowledge of his studies. Yeah, that was a clue in the New York Times crossword this morning. One-man army. Or maybe it was yesterday. I, I, I like it. All right, moving right along. That's Dean Terry Lee of the College of Arts and Sciences. Absolutely correct. Oh, I don't think that's a dean. No. No. Uh, Dr. Jones, Dean of Archaeology. No. Snakes. College professor, though. Why did it have to be snakes? Ah, yeah. uh, you're right, he's a professor. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Seeing right through it. Last oh, one right here. Oh, tough one, tough one, tough one. That's one of the new deans. Yes. One of the She's just been on the job for two months now. Yeah. Jan uh, one month. Janice Turpany, Dean of the Tickle College of Engineering. Absolutely correct. I was hoping I would have got you with one of the uh, the new deans, but no. No fooling you. I hire them. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's, I guess that's how that works. Then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really like this desk you have here. Yeah. yeah. I, thank you. I, you know. It, it took forever to, to to get all the wood to you know really assemble it because it is it is real wood. Yeah, listen Solid. to that. Hardwood oak. This is what this is. Totally not a piece of poster board I no, taped no, no. up and is now peeling as you can see. Well, but, it's peeling orange, maybe. Yeah, well that's like. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. It's yeah, orange is a good color. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. David, you put up with all of our shenanigans so far on this show. The least I can do is open up the floor to you to tell us what you got going on around campus. Sure, uh, sure. Well, my focus this year is we have a new chancellor, Don Diploma, yes. right? She's fantastic. I worked with her in Nebraska. She has some oh. she has great ideas and she's moving forward and especially look forward to collaborating her with a, with her on student success, making it easier for students to graduate okay. and graduate on time. You know, make change in our course withdrawal policies potentially, mm -hmm. course repeat policies, just making it easier to get now your degree Joe here Johnson at University Drive of Tennessee. And River Drive. That's really cool. While not sacrificing the quality of the education. So yeah. it's it should be fun. All right. That's, that's very cool. And so that's what we're working on this year, getting her up to speed and she's already there, I think, in many respects. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our little talk show on the bus. We've had one heck of an episode. I've loved every single minute of it, and I hope you sitting watching us on YouTube did as well. Uh, so what more can I do but close this bad boy off? But before I do, I want to thank you, David, for coming on, being such a good sport Absolutely. on the show. Killing all of my games. I really got to come up with something harder. But that's it for Busted, so if you don't mind, we'll uh, take a look at this camera, and on uh, the count of three, one, two, three. You just, you just got, got busted. busted. One, 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 one shot. Now the future is yours. Go. Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure.